Hey guys, what's up? It is Brandy Chanel, and if you're new to my channel, here on this channel, we talk about everything from hair to makeup to fashion to you, to pretty much all things beauty, lifestyle, and everyday living. So, if you haven't already, don't forget to press, 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 press that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can join the notification gang gang. All right, let's get on with the subject matter at hand. All right, guys, as you can tell by the title of this video, today we're gonna be talking about my 2022 Bloom Planner. Um, I will leave an eye card above of the Bloom Planner that I chose from last year, this year, the planner is uh, about three times the size of last year. I found last year that the planner was just a bit too small for as much writing that I wanted to do, but it was the perfect size for quickly on the go if you have a small purse. So you kind of have to weigh what's more important to you. But I'm gonna do a flip through towards the end, but I just wanna give a quick talk through. Um, I've already started writing some things ah, in my planner, um, but the footage you see will be when I first take it out of the package. I purchased this from Amazon, but you can also purchase from Bloom. Amazon obviously has free shipping, whereas Bloom you have to pay. Um, I want to say it's from like $3.99 to $5.99, but sometimes they have free shipping, so sign up for that. All right, let's get into flipping through the camera. All right, so this is the Bloom Daily Planner 2022 8.5 by 11 calendar year planner. January 2022 through December 2022 weekly slash monthly dated agenda organizer with tabs and it's the modern abstract. I ordered this off of Amazon for $21.95. I couldn't find it on the website but that's where I originally saw it. I had an Amazon gift card so that's why I used it. Um, why I purchased on Amazon. Um, here is the sticker size of a kind of a one subject notebook. It's a little bit smaller than that, but it's average size of like a regular sheet of paper. I like that it's wire bound. So, a huge difference from last year's, but I found last year that I um, needed a bit more space in the weekly, so I wanted to go up a size and see which one I really like. Keep this video simple because I literally just did this last year, but I want to do a quick flip through and show you guys the larger size. So I love this pattern. I like the pinks and the greens. Um, and this first page is similar to last year where we have your mission statement, how will you bloom, um, your word of the year, which I don't think they had that last year. Nope, last year's did not have the word of the year. And my word of the year is gonna be tag. So I didn't mention, I said I was gonna tell you guys, but my word this year is tag. It stands for time alone with God abundance of love and joy and growth financially personally and healthier and in healthier eating so those are my three focuses i feel like three is a good number of things that you can do for the year that you can stick to so either one power word or i like to do a combination of words because you know a bundle okay but so those are my three things yeah. all right um it explains a bit about bloom kind of what they do um you can follow them on instagram for more inspiration um, I love that this is a woman-owned company. Um, it has this big page of goals for the year, things to look forward to, new things to try, books you should read, places to visit, things to improve upon, blah, blah, blah. Important dates here. Just the year, an overview of the year, kind of a bird's eye view of the year. I love. This is what I love about the Bloom Planner. It shows you, it really gets you engaged um, and basically... <laughs> for lack of a better word, how they say it, is to bloom into a better person. So I just really enjoy that about this planner. It really has you thinking and it, and it ha gives you some ideas of things of how you want the year to go, regardless of what's going on. So that's what I loved about this planner. It has you circle your values. Um, this year you want to do more of less of... It's very similar to last year. I like the coloring as well. Um, things not to do, where, where you are now and where you're going. Um, and I'm just going to show you one month. I love this vision page here. I have a vision board up on my wall, but um, I think I'm going to do one in here and then kind of copy that also on my walls because I see that one on my wall more often. They have a joy list, which I don't think they had the joy list last year. I don't recall seeing the joy list here or I don't recall seeing I love myself because and then all these. So that's, in, that's new to me because um, I don't recall that being in the smaller planner. 
gold tracking. I don't think I filled this one out, but I'm really going to get into it this year and, and be intentional with it. Um, habit tracking, this was in the planner last year. Um, your ideal week, this was in there as well last year. Weekly scheduling template. I love all these kind of pre-pages. Monthly task. Um, this would be great if you, um, if you like, you know, schedule certain things around the year. Uh, maybe like gardening or things like that. Or if your your kids have things to do, or if you don't have kids, there's still things that you have to do every month. Um, and it's not just bill focused. This one is your monthly bill payment tracker, which I think is awesome as well. Um, what I would actually do is maybe add the amount in here as well so you can kind of see how much you spent month over month um, if that's something that you are able to add. But I'll also do that on the weekly pages. Tons of things to do, lists. I'm a huge list person so that speaks to me. Um, contacts. I really don't use these but I probably should use these a lot more because sometimes you don't know someone's number or something like that and you don't have your phone or your phone's not charged and you need a number or just like contacts of your um like any maintenance around the house i think that's great to have as well website logins um someone i, I was watching a video and they said something like maybe not put your actual password but maybe a, a something that would help you remember your password just in case you lose your planner i think that's a great idea um and then there's some blank pages here and now we're into, this is the end of December, end of December, and I just really love how it has kind of a mission or just something positive for you here each month um, to kind of get started with your month. I'm only going to flip through January, but all the months are sem the same. They'll have the month layout with a quote at the top, your to-dos over here, and it starts on Sunday through Saturday here, and then it starts on Monday at the weekly your weekly priorities, a week slash month view, and then I just love all the space here. So I'm really going to get to put a lot more stickers and everything here. And this is just how it goes for every week. And I'm just going to kind of flip through the months really quickly to show you again. That's how there's a little quote there every month. But I love all the tabs here on the side. If you guys can see those, the monthly tabs. Um, let's see what we have in the back. This one unfortunately doesn't come with the sticker page like it did when you order the smaller planners they should probably look into that for next year so I think if you order a big one they should also offer you the stickers but that's just my opinion um, and then in the back the final few pages after the last year it gives you the next upcoming year which will be 2023 important dates for next year and then kind of how you bloomed in 2022 or at the end of the year kind of doing a follow-up and then there again there's another page here um, I know this video is getting super long, but I just want to show you guys quickly. I actually ordered these from the Bloom website. These are two sticker packets. They're a little pricey for what you get, but I really liked these stickers. I like how, um, I just like the actual stickers because a lot of the Happy Planner stickers are geared towards moms and not everybody's a mom. So <laughs> I just, I like that these were kind of cool and, and hip for my stage or season of life. So these are the pr product um, productivity sticker pack. They have things like, you know, shopping, cleaning, bills due, weekend meetings, hair, nails. Um, let's see what else. Uh, girls night, you know, date night, uh, vacay, day out, day off, birthdays, just things that really relate to me right now. And I really love this holiday planner sticker. Um, these are monthly planners, so it's about two two months per page. So there's six pages, and then there's two months, so January, February, March, April, blah, 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 blah. And every month kind of have a, has a theme to kind of gear it around any holiday or things that you would do in that particular month. Like, for example, October obviously has pumpkins, you know, fire, fall-themed Christmas in December, or, you know, holiday. They even have Hanukkah on here. And I want to say, I thought one of them had something about... Kawanza, but I can't remember. Um, oh yeah, I love that it says June has the Juneteenth. I thought that was like perfect and very inclusive. They have Hanukkah on here. There isn't a Kawanza, but I thought I saw something. Maybe not. Anyways, I like these as well. I think that's it, guys, and I will zoom back out and chat with you soon. 
All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that flip through, and it wasn't too terribly long for you guys. Um, it, happy planning, you guys. Blooming into the new year. I hope 2022 is better than the last few. Okay. All right. I'll catch you guys in my next one. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like this video, and subscribe to the channel and join the notification. Uh, okay. Get. Yeah. All right. Catch you guys in my next one. Bye.